How are you doing, Cardinal Lacrosse fans? My name is Cody Matthews, and I'm here with WJU Lacks today for a special uh, St. Patrick's Day ed edition here with Coach Dugan. Coach, how are you doing today? Uh, doing great. Thanks, Cody. So I see you're wearing your uh, green shirt in support of St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, representing, you know, Dugan. I got a little Irish blood in me, and, uh, you know, just uh, figured, I'd, figured I'd throw my green, uh, green shirt on and uh, get in the spirit. For you viewers back home, you can't see, but all I have is green shoes on today. Had to make do with what I got. So, Coach, can you give us a little bit of a recap of the past two games? Yeah, um, yeah I feel like we're I feel like we're we're we've gotten a lot better in the last two games. Uh, we we did not play as well as we would have liked to have against uh, Florida Tech. Um, obviously, we lost that game by a few goals and um, struggled at the face off X, and that's going to happen from time to time. Uh, but you know, we struggled to face off X and then struggled to to finish on offense. Uh, you know, it's just gonna. It's 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 tough to grind out a win against a good team. I think, uh, you know, Florida Tech deserves all the credit uh, for that win. They've got a good team, a good coaching staff. I think they're gonna uh, surprise some people this year. They're they're ranked this week, so um, we don't feel like we, we don't feel like they're a bad team. But you know, that's a game that we certainly wish we could uh, we could get back and get another chance at. But we're gonna uh, learn from the mistakes we made, and uh, you know, it's gonna help us get better. You know, we're just gonna make sure that. You know, through that film and through the disappointment of that loss, that we uh, that we get better as a team, uh, and then yeah, you know, we felt like we made some nice adjustments and specifically uh, you know, offensively to just um, control the tempo of the game a little bit more and give our defense a little bit more of a break uh, in the Chestnut Hill game. I think, I think that's going to be a real important thing for us to continue to improve on if we're going to win big conference games that are coming up in the next month. Um, so we're working harder at the offensive end of the field to, you know, to make sure that um, we pick and choose our spots better uh, in terms of when to push the ball in transition so that our defense gets a little bit more of a break in between possessions. Definitely. So as we come to the midpoint of the season, who do you see right now developing really well as a player? Well, I think um, Kenny Keyes is a guy that jumps out at me as being somebody that is, uh, is getting better and better every game. Um, we uh, we had some vulnerabilities early in the season at the defensive midfield position that got exploited and attacked by uh, you know early in the season and I feel like we're working hard to shore that up and Kenny's a big part of that. Um, he's gonna I think continue to improve each game and um, you know, hopefully by the end of the season become a premier shutdown defensive midfielder. So uh, real excited with how he's playing right now. How is the team getting ready for the upcoming game against Lindenwood? Uh, Guys are excited about it because it's our first conference game of the year. Uh, it's a home game. And, uh, you know, the start of the conference season and schedule is kind of like a season within a season. So, obviously, we've got our full slate of games. But then within the ECAC conference, there's a kind of a sense of excitement about starting that conference schedule because it really is a season within itself. And uh, our guys are real excited about that and looking forward to this Saturday. Well, Cardinal Lacrosse fans, I'd like to thank you for tuning in today for WJU Lax TV Special St. Patrick's Edition. You stay laxy, Cardinal Nation.